So what's up YouTube, we're coming at you right now. I just got my wheels finished, my 450. As you can see right here, they're fully built up. The Hoosier tires look sweet on it, as well as the uh, RC Hot Coats powder coat on the hubs and triple clamps. So we'll finally get this put back together. My 450 right now is looking like that. The only thing we are missing right now is suspension. Jason over at SGB just sent me a picture of it and it is looking sweet. I can't wait to show you guys it. So I'm actually gonna drive and meet him. He's only about two hours from here. I'm gonna meet him midway, right in between, right by the Delaware Bridge probably in New Jersey. And uh, if you've seen in my last video building my Tiger Craft, uh, we are en route to Florida. Today is Tuesday and tomorrow we'll be en route to go to Florida. So I need to get this bike done today and everything loaded up and we are out tomorrow. Jason from SGB, shout out to you. This is the man behind the scenes there. And uh, we got some fresh, some fresh suspension coated up for the Honda. This stuff looks so trick. They killed it over there at SGB. We got the Race Tech Gold Valve internals. We got the dark brown coating up top along with the coating on the shock. And the shock shaft, which I didn't think this was gonna get done. He surprised me with this. The shock shaft and the fork shafts both are matching rainbow to go with the pit bike that's already loaded up in the van right now. Now that we have everything here, this bike's in pieces. I have to get this together and running by tonight. So let's get rolling on this thing and we'll load everything we got up. I got a bunch of stuff already packed. And we'll get the show on the road. Officially done the bike is put together and I am so excited for how this thing looks I can't wait to get it out in the sunlight and ride it RCHC killed it with the powder coating with my triple clamps and my hubs they look legit and as well as SGB racing as you guys just saw before Jason the forks on this thing it looks insane It looks like a factory bike literally besides for the side cover might need to get a new one of those But we won't worry about that for now I'm excited to get this thing out in the track down in Florida so I'm going to go ahead and get everything packed because it's already pretty late and I need to get home and start packing my clothes. So we'll get the van loaded up. We'll catch you tomorrow when we're hitting the road. Check, 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 one, two. SOB. Continue straight oh. for eight minutes to Radford Boulevard. We have officially made it to south of the border. It is 2.47 a.m. A little hard to see, we got everything covered though. We have the pit bike, the 450, and the ski all in here, as well as all my stuff in between it. We made it to south of the border. We've been driving since six o'clock at night from New Jersey. It is now three in the morning. We're projected to be in Daytona at the Airbnb at about just before nine o'clock. All the Tiger Craft guys are down there already, so we'll keep on trucking and we'll, we'll see you there. So we made it to the Tiger Craft compound here in Daytona. And we're not skipping a beat, we're getting right to ride and surf. Oh, oh hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to the crib. A um, little bit, we're gonna take the new uh, Tiger Craft M1, we're gonna get it out there. We're gonna show you how it handles, see if we can get a couple clips around. Stay tuned. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure it runs right, dude. I'm so beat. I'm gonna do something stupid and let go of this thing. 
start. No man. Just get here? Yeah. Nice. Drove straight through the night. Jboogie.com. We got the bike and the ski loaded up. It is day two down in Florida. 